Hi, Geminis. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my channel. Welcome to your February. This will be the first through the 15th, 2020 reading. So, that's popping, guys. Let's hop right in and see what messages we have. First and foremost, guys, we're coming out of a new moon cycle in Aquarius. This um, was on January the 24th. And the energy from that was so, so powerful. Not sure how it affected you guys particularly. It's going to be different for everyone because you guys could be Gemini's, but you could have a moon in a different sign. So definitely check out your um, moon sign and definitely your reading. If you don't know what that is, you can always go on Google and do like a moon sign calculator. I always encourage that because sometimes your moon sign can resonate more than your sun. But this is for Gemini moon sun rising as well. But let's see, guys. We're going to get a card from our Moonology deck. And let's see what changes or what energetic space are we in with this new moon. Like I said, the new moon was in Aquarius. So it was an air sign like you guys. So definitely probably got you guys all in your head. Um, definitely opened up everyone else's heart. Like your heart chakra, open. It could have been something you guys said, or, you know, seen. You could have spoke with someone, maybe someone shared something with you, whatever the case may be. It's like your heart is really was really open during this cycle in many different ways. And it all affected, you know, it affected us all in different ways. So you can kind of decide, y'all can drop some comments and let me know, like, how did this moon have y'all? Because me personally, I have a moon in Taurus, but I was emotional as fuck and I'm not an emotional person. I was noticing a lot of triggers, a lot of like weird things happening, and I feel like it just triggered a lot in me. So let's see for my Gemini's where you guys are um, after this moon. Like, what is this moon bringing in for you guys? Ooh, a time to give rather than to take. This is a new moon in Virgo. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is saying with this moon cycle that we just went in, that was a time for you to give rather than to take. So like I said, with that opening up our heart chakras and green is all on this card and that is the color of your heart chakra. Gemini, so you guys, your mission or what you guys were supposed to do with this new moon was you were supposed to open up your heart and it was something... You guys were supposed to give. So it could have been a message, you know, support, love. So it was a time to give love rather than to take or just a time to give rather than to take in general. And going into February of 2020, the same applies. Give more of yourselves. I have been seeing a Gemini's reading for some reason. You guys have like a lot of people you're attached to. They really, really love you. And for some reason, I'm not even going to say for some reason because I've seen it in the cards. It was because y'all done dealt with some shit in the past that really either messed you up mentally or really scarred you emotionally. And it's like even though you have new opportunities, new situations, new people, you were still kind of holding back just because of your fear of what you've been through in the past. So this is telling you right now it's not a time to hold back. This is the time to give. So give more love. You know, if you guys are not affectionate, Challenge yourselves to be more affectionate. You guys have been holding back your feelings, not communicating how you feel to your partner. You know, be more loving, more open and communicative when it comes to those feelings. And look, we have prosperity lies ahead. So you guys are definitely going to be like doing this open, keeping your heart chakra open. It's going to, it's going to lead you guys to prosperity, whether that's in your relationship, whether it's financially, whatever it is, you guys are definitely going to be going towards prosperity. And this is the new moon in Taurus. So you guys need to have those that Taurus energy. You need to be disciplined. You need to be focused. You need to be patient. You need to definitely dig your heels in whatever it is you guys are trying to do. And stand in that shit. Do not bend, okay? So let's see. Let me get some cards for my soul journey oracle. Let's see what messages we have for my Gemini's. All right, Gemini's and phone is on 10 percent so i'm gonna try to um hopefully i can get this message recorded before it shuts off so i see fear like i say y'all have a lot of fear in this regarding whatever has happened or didn't happen in the past and look discipline is here at the bottom of the day y'all need to be disciplined during this cycle 
like I said, with this new moon, it definitely opened up your heart space. And I feel like it definitely put a lot of thoughts in your mind. But you need to be disciplined in deciphering what goes and what stays, okay? You need to give more of yourself. Look at this growth. You guys are coming out of a great period of growth. This says, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So in the past, you guys have really opened yourselves up. You guys have really went through a major period of growth. You wanted to expand. So like I say, you open up your heart to your mind. And I feel like it's the time now to give. So all the things that you've learned, it's time to share it with someone. It's time to share it with the people around you. Also love, you know, be more loving. So I feel like that's your past energy. You guys have definitely went through a lot of growth. Growth could be significant to you guys. But right now in the present, we have worry. You guys are still in your head. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. So some of you guys are, you know, I feel like this new moon could have brought in so much mental energy for you guys that maybe you feel overwhelmed. I know it brought in a lot of anxiety, could be worry, but this is telling you worry and doesn't change an outcome. And this is a purple card. So when I see purple in my readings, I automatically think spirit is present. You guys need to meditate and you need to do a lot of praying. Because I feel like it's something that you guys need to do. I think in the last reading, I was talking about making a, a decision or choosing between different people. And maybe you're worried about the outcome. Whatever it is, I feel like you guys could need some guidance. And you need to pray. You need to meditate so you can clear your energy and, and stay um, in a good space mentally. Imagination came out. I embrace and nourish the cre creative aspect of my mind. So this is interesting because with this worry here, worry connects to fear. And when fear is left unchecked, it turns into, it ignites your imagination. And what starts to happen is your mind starts to think and put together all these situations, circumstances, events that does not exist in reality. So you guys definitely have to check that. Otherwise, and that shit will have you off the deep end. And y'all don't need that because y'all are close to your prosperity. So with this imagination, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. You guys need to do something creative. As a Gemini, you're naturally creative anyway. Okay? And you guys rule communication. So you guys need to do something, whether it's, you know, some of you guys could be into poetry, some of you guys could be into writing, maybe you guys are into um, your artists, maybe you rap, maybe you sing, um, you guys could be into photography, maybe you're a model, maybe you're real creative with makeup, whatever it is, you guys need to find an outlet for all of that energy that you have because you are worried and you have a lot of different emotions. I feel like that's why this thing looks like that. You have a lot of different emotions like swirling inside of you. And as a result, it could go into your imagination in the wrong way if you don't utilize this energy. So this is telling you I embrace the creative aspect of my mind. You need to do something creative so you can release that energy in a positive way that is going to be beneficial for you. Gratitude on the bottom of the deck. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So again, you guys have prosperity that's in front of you. You need to go ahead and start showing gratitude. Even if you don't have what you want to have right now, the best way to manifest new things is to be thankful and show gratitude for what you have. God is not going to bless you with more if you can't even appreciate what you already have, okay? So you need to start showing gratitude and be thankful so that you can bring in new things. So let's see, Holy Spirit, let's get a message for my Gemini's. I love this. High Priestess. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, if not, with this High Priestess here, like I said, you guys need to do some meditating. Definitely. This is like me a definitely deep meditative card. This is the, the keeper of secrets as well. So you guys could know a lot of things right now. You could be keeping a lot of secrets and you're not speaking on it. This is also telling me you guys are very intuitive. So you need to trust your intuition. God could be, and spirit could be trying to connect with you guys through your intuition, through your dreams, through your visions, through like deja vu. So like I said, do something creative with your imagination. Maybe go painting, draw, whatever the case may be. Because these outlets, like you guys are going to be getting downloads and it's meant to guide you to this prosperity. But you need to be in a clear space mentally so you can re like receive it. So you guys definitely need to meditate. Definitely need to pray. Clear your mind so you can have a clear mind. King of Wands here. Some of y'all could be attached to a Leo. If not, you need to be confident right now. Ace of Cups in the past. Page of Pentacles here. 
Five of Cups, Ace of Swords. All right. So we have the hangman here, bottom of the deck energy. So definitely could be dealing with the Pisces. If not, a lot of you guys are in some uncomfortable positions right now. And it's like you are being forced to look at things from a different perspective. And this is crossing you guys. Yeah, you guys are definitely in a position. Some of you guys could be feeling like a lot of stagnant energy. Like you just feel like you've been going through shit. Shit is not moving forward. And all you can do is just look at things from a different perspective. And that's what you need to do right now. Like I said, you have grown. You have definitely experienced a lot of growth. And right now, this worry is only coming in because you're getting closer to that prosperity. There is something that you guys could have, you guys could have received some communication from someone. I feel like intuitively you already knew whatever this, this, was that they that you received or that they told you or like i said with this eight of wands maybe your communication from spirit for some of you is going to come through your dreams through this high priestess but some of you guys receive some kind of communication and it just like it's like you're keeping it a secret you're not speaking on it all right you're not really speaking on it much and intuitively it's like you're connected the advice is the ace of swords you guys have definitely received some enlightenment and it's up to you to take action and to do something with the information that you have to use this to fuel you, okay? This is the time to give rather than to take. So whether you've been taking shit, it's time for you to give. If you've been a person, like I said, you've been holding back your love, your emotions, your feelings, it's time to release those. It's time to express it in a effective way, of course. Don't go just wilding out on nobody because that's not going to be effective. But you need to communicate. So let's see with this Ace of Cups in the past energy for my Gemini's. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Y'all could have started something new. All right. So we have King of Pentacles here. You guys could definitely be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Normally when I get the King of Pentacles, this is my Capricorn card. But whatever this is, I feel like you guys had a new start with something in the past. And you felt like it was it was emotionally fulfilling. And I feel like it also helped you guys become a little more stable when it comes to your finances. You guys could have also started a new relationship with someone. Maybe this person brought in stability for you. Let's see with this King of Wands. Yeah. I feel like for you guys, it's like you're in a confident space right now. It's like you're ready and willing to take risks. You're, you're confident. Um, some of you guys, like I said, could be attached to a Leo. But whatever this is, it's like it's still a lot of waiting with this Seven of Pentacles. So it's like maybe you could be waiting on this person. Or maybe you're waiting to see how things happen. Whatever the case may be, there is a lot of waiting right now. It's like you you planted some seeds and now you're waiting to see what's going to grow, what you need to do, what you have before you take action because you're ready to take a risk with something. But you're still in a period of waiting. Page of Pentacles is your foundation. So you could be waiting to receive an offer from someone. Maybe you're waiting to get your finances together. Whatever this is here, I feel like you guys are definitely going to be getting an offer. Maybe you're going to be making an offer. But something new is definitely going to start for you guys. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you guys have a lot of new offers. And you have a lot of options as well. And this was in the last reading. I think I titled it, you guys have a lot of options, but you only want one. So I feel like you guys have kind of come to a, a, a feeling where maybe you received some information that helped you make a decision about something. You're confident. You've made up your mind. You're ready to take a risk. You're still waiting, though. And it's still because, like, you have a lot of options, but you're trying to, with this page of pinnacles, you're only going to offer to one. You're just trying to make the best decision. The star is here, so you guys could definitely be connected to an Aquarius. If not, this is which fulfillment. It's like things are about to start turning around for you. Remember, prosperity lies ahead. All right, but we have the Five of Cups here. So I feel like a lot of you guys, with this Five of Cups, this is normally sadness, regret, hurt, pain, disappointment. But this person is kicking all those emotions down the fucking drain. She's not even touching it with her hand. She's like, this is beneath me. So it's something that you guys still need to detach from emotionally. You need to like release. And that's what this new moon was all about, releasing. Yeah, look, four of pentacles. Y'all still holding on to some shit that y'all need to release. And that's where the worry comes in. And that's where the worry turns into fear. And that's where the fear triggers your imagination and has you thinking all these crazy ass thoughts. And it keeps you in a cycle. Y'all still holding on to that. Y'all need to release it. Yeah, two of pentacles. Y'all have been torn. It's like y'all still been trying to balance something out. Still trying to maintain it. But 
it's causing you to harbor like all this resentment I'm feeling for some of you guys or sadness or disappointment. And it's like you have new things coming in and you can't even appreciate it because you're still holding on to this past energy. Yeah, judgment. Y'all need to release it. You need to make a judgment call. So this judgment is like, do I stay or do I go? Should I or should I not? Am I going to give this another try or am I going to pack up and I'm going to leave and call it quits? Whatever this is with this King of Cups here, you guys need to make a head over heart decision. So you need to put your emotions on the back burner for right now. Um, like I said, a time to give rather than to take. So do express your emotions. Do let it be known how you feel. But when it comes to making this decision, whatever decision you need to make, you need to use your mind. That's why we have the Ace of Swords here. This is like an aha moment. You becoming enlightened about something. And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to help you guys to move forward. And I feel like y'all already made a decision about something. Y'all were just like, like I said, just waiting. I don't know what the hell y'all waited for, but y'all are still waiting. Queen of Wands here. So you could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. If not, the Queen of Wands. Y'all have the King and the Queen here, definitely. So some of you guys need to balance your masculine and feminine energy. Others of you, you could be feeling like you're in a soulmate um, connection here. King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. And this is, he has to sort up. So this is you guys' energy here. So you guys are definitely wanting to make a decision about something. You are definitely understanding that you need to use your mind, your logic, but you're still, he has a sort of, you're still waiting on something. So with this Queen of Wands, it lets you know that you guys are definitely wanting to take some risks, but you're trying to take calculated risks. And I feel like whatever information that you guys receive with this Eight of Wands is going to help you to move this forward because I feel like that enlightened you on, on some aspects. It, it, you became enlightened and now your mind is open. So I love this because it lets you know whatever decision is being made, you guys are definitely using your head. The devil is here. So this could definitely be surrounded in Capricorn. Capricorn can be significant to you. If not, you guys could be dealing with the karmic partner. Or you guys could just be feeling tied to something, chained to something. For some of y'all, it's a relationship. Whether it's a romantic relationship, a job relationship, a relationship you have with yourself. As far as like the thoughts that you tell yourself. For some of you guys, it just could have been something from the past. Look at this, three of swords that broke your heart. So you guys definitely need to move past this. And look, your energy, um, well, Virgo energy, I'm sorry, is behind this. You guys need to do some soul searching. You need to be in solitude. Y'all could definitely be dealing with the Virgo. But y'all need to do some soul searching to figure out like what it is you want to do. And I feel like you already know. You already made a decision. It's just like you're just having some fears, some worries that's creeping in and making you kind of delay this. So look. Gratitude came out again. This is a spirit message from our Law of Attraction Oracle. This says, I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. So you guys do need to show gratitude. Definitely. Definitely be thankful for what you have, where you are, where you've been. Definitely. So you can manifest more great things to come. That growth that you guys have experienced, it wasn't by chance. So you guys definitely need to know that. Let's get one more card here for my Gemini's. The Prime Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me one more card for my Gemini's. Magnetism. Ooh. I attract and magnetize to me all that I need to get what I want. And I love this because that's that King of Wands charming kind of, kind of energy. So this is telling you guys, you need to be grateful. For all the abundance that you have in your life today, whether you're where, where you're at or whether or not, you need to be grateful for it and understand that you can attract and magnetize to you all that you need to get what you want. So some of y'all are definitely like turning y'all charm on a thousand right now because it's like you have the ability to get what you want through that. You guys need to be thankful for that. So like I said, Gemini, y'all need to do something creative to help you release all of that different energy that you guys have been feeling recently and really do some soul searching because it's something that you guys are tied to that's still holding you back. And I feel like you're ready to move forward. You've been enlightened. You've been shown the way on how to move forward. It's like now it's just a matter of releasing the feelings from it so you can move forward. And for some of you guys, moving forward isn't going to be physical. It's more like moving past it emotionally. 
So that's what I have for you guys' message um, for the 1st through the 15th. I'll probably upload a message in between now and then so you guys have a little bonus um, before we do the end of the month, all right? We'll probably tap into like whoever you guys are dealing with, how they feel. But so far, Gemini, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys did find messages that resonate. Do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.